Hey there, Darren here from whitespark.ca. Did you know that Google My Business has a feature for promoting your products and services that's even better than Google Posts? And hardly any businesses are using it? In today's video, I'm gonna show you the products feature and why it is awesome. I love the products feature. It has excellent visibility on your uh, business profile, but shockingly, hardly any businesses are taking advantage of this awesome feature. So many of you will remember that uh, the posts used to show up really prominently on your business listing. So uh, when posts first came out, they were awesome. They took this great space up on your listing right near the top. It would just be like name, address, phone number, and then Google Posts, and so they were great. Everyone was like, so excited. They were, they were promoting their products, promoting their services, putting them right into Google Posts, offers, specials, whatever. So it was kind of like Facebook posts, and they had great visibility because they were front and center on your business listing. Well, in September 2018, they removed posts from that nice placement on, right under the business info and dropped them way down to the very bottom of the the business profile. So Joy Hawkins posted about this and, and you can see here that, you know, it just lost all of its visibility. And so it was a bit of a sad trombone at the time. People were uh, not too happy about that. Posts, a lot of people even question, should I bother doing posts anymore? Well, it turns out that they had to move posts because they were making space for something even better, the product section. And so shortly after this move, products started appearing in beta for many businesses. And so businesses were able to use the product section to feature their products and services and take a look at where products show up right in that same spot. So you can see that on many listings that are taking advantage of this feature. So here's Milwaukee Furniture of Chicago and they're taking advantage of this feature right here that it's showing like some sofas, whatever. You can kind of scroll through them, see the different products. You can click view all and see a full breakdown of all these different types of products that they've added to their listing. Wonderful. Honestly, if you're trying to feature your products and services, this is even better than posts. Here's another example uh, of how it shows in the local finder too. So it doesn't just appear when someone searches your brand name. If someone is searching, doing a keyword search like Chicago Auto Dealers and your listing has these products, it really helps to highlight these products and make them stand out because they show up really prominently in the local finder as well. But apparently not too many people got the memo about the launch of the products feature and it has been left sadly empty on the vast majority of listings. Uh, Ali Mar Margison did a fantastic presentation about this uh, at our last Whitespark Local Search Summit. Um, she researched over 800,000 listings and looked at all kinds of feature adoption, what kind of features were these listings using, and products actually were um, not being used very much at all. In our study, we found that on average, only 4% of businesses have products listed on their listing. 4%. 96% of you are, uh, you're, you're missing out. You should take advantage of this feature because it has excellent visibility on the profile. It can definitely drive additional uh, views, sales, and business. So I suspect that one reason why it has such low adoption is because it's called products. And so people think, well, whatever, I'm a plumber. I'm not really selling pipes and, and physical products. I'm mostly selling my services. But Google's totally fine with you using this feature to actually present your services or specific offers. It doesn't mean only physical products. And that could have been part of the barrier for a lot of people where they think, oh, well, I don't sell any products, so I'm not gonna take advantage of this feature. Well, I'm here today to tell you that this feature can definitely be used for everything that you wanna promote, and it's a great opportunity to get in there. So here's one of our clients, a criminal defense lawyer, and they have featured the different types of law that they practice, so different types of cases, so uh, impaired driving, sexual offenses, drug offenses. So we've made products for each of those services. Um, it's a pretty obvious one for auto dealers. So here's another client here, King of Cars. They feature all of their you know, hottest products that they wanna move. Uh, this is, it's a used car dealership, so they're trying to uh, move cars, and so we use the product section for that. 
Uh, Cosafina is a retail shop, and so it makes a lot of sense for retail, but you don't only have to feature physical products, even if you're retail. So for this business, we really wanted to highlight um, you know, in, in the pandemic that they're doing curbside pickup, that you can shop online. So you can really use the product section to feature whatever you want. Now it's worth noting that not all categories in Google My Business get products. There are some categories, if, it, if it's set as your primary category, that you're not gonna have this feature available in Google My Business. And so that is, you know, hotels, vacation rentals, camps, uh, conference centers, casinos, cannabis shops, gun shops, or adult entertainment. So those categories we know, they don't have products. So if you're in one of those categories, well, you know, leave this video right now, stop watching. <laughs> it doesn't apply to you. So as I mentioned, the main reason that I love uh, GMB products is this placement on the listing. It just has high visibility. It can really help to uh, promote your, your products, your services any special offers. It shows up great if someone does a branded search and it also shows up really well if someone is doing a keyword search. So they search Edmonton criminal lawyers and they start clicking through the results here. So like this one, oh, they have products, good job. This one here, no products, oh, sorry, not calling you. No products, but you know, the businesses that do have products, it really stands out. You can see them nicely here in the local finder. So it really helps your business to stand out and drive additional uh, visibility to your listing. It's kind of like free ads on the internet. People are paying a fortune for Google ads. All you suckers are out there paying thousands of dollars a month on Google ads and Google My Business has given you this free ad spot that hardly any businesses are taking advantage of. This is a, it's a great opportunity. So definitely get in there. Okay, so let me show you how you can add products to your listing. So log into Google My Business, and then on the left-hand side here, you'll see the product section. Um, if you don't have any products yet, uh, you can just click Get Started, and it's gonna bring up a little Add a Product section. So you're gonna uh, select a photo. It's got a picture of this product. In this case, my product is going to be uh, a service. This is a, an electrician business. So there you go, residential electrician services. Nice, so I'll say residential rewiring. And next you're gonna create a category, so I'll go residential services for the category. Set a price, so if it's a single priced product, you actually know how much it costs, then you can specify it. But if it's a service, you can actually specify a range here. So I don't know, residential rewiring, I'm gonna guess that it ranges between 500 and $1,500. I might be lowballing it. I'm no electrician. Uh, so product description, uh, we'll rewire your house. Duh. <laughs> All right, and then add a button. So I'll say learn more. And then I'll just link it to our website, shawelectrical.com slash rewiring, for example, right? Dot HTML whatever it is. And there you go, click save, and boom, you added a product. So, I, I misspelled re residential rewiring, but whatever, I can, I can edit that now and fix it up. So now I've added a product to my listing. It typically can take you know up to 24 hours for these to go live, but I don't know if there's a, uh, an algorithmic or human moderation proce process, but it typically takes a little bit of time. They don't, they don't usually go live immediately. Okay, and now I have a tip that I think will blow your mind. It kind of blew my mind. I've never seen anyone talk about this. I think, I think it's new. Um, I just discovered it when I was playing around with this. So I'm gonna add a product and I wanted to see if you can add a video because you can add videos to Google Posts. So I thought maybe it'll accept a video here if I just upload one. So I go select a photo. Um, my video's not showing up here because it says image type. So there you go. There's a, there's a video. I'm going to try uploading a video. Invalid file type selected. Hmm. All right. Doesn't like videos. What about GIFs? Maybe I'll take a GIF. So I got a little GIF here. Let's give this one a shot. Again, invalid file type. Hmm. What if I tried to trick Google and I said, well, actually my GIF... It's a JPEG, come on, just pretend. Just pretend it's a JPEG, Google. Yep, I'm sure I wanna change it to a JPEG. Let's choose that. 
Uploading. Success. Look at that. You can add GIFs to your products as long as you rename them to JPEG. Product name, cool GIF, yo. There you go. So you can add GIFs as, as your product image. And so why would you do that? What are the benefit of that? Well, let me show you. If you had a little bit of animation, wow, wouldn't that make your listing stand out? Uh, here, these are the examples I was playing around with on the White Spark listing. Look at that. Look at the way it shows up on the listing. Very prominent, really, uh, really hot, stands out. Now, you got to be careful. You don't want to make it like the blink tag in HTML from back in the early GeoCities days. You want to keep it subtle. And so how would you do this for a real business? And I think we figured it out. So this is one of our clients, uh, Ogilvy LLP. And so we added real subtle little eye catchy animations for their different types of law that they practice. And so I think that this really works well and it makes their listing just stand out a little bit more. And particularly if you're looking through the local finder results, something that catches your eye like that, I think can be really valuable. So uh, that's my mind blowing tip of the day. Okay, well, I hope I have convinced you that using products is a good thing. And I hope you like my renaming a gift to a JPEG tip. If you are looking for expert help with Google My Business Management, I think we've got one of the best teams in the industry. Uh, our Google My Business Management team will optimize your listing, uh, add products, add services, help you get more rankings and more visibility for your listing. So I uh, encourage you to check that out. And as always, please subscribe and hit the little bell to get notifications so you never miss a video. Thanks everybody, see you next time. <laughs>